Hello lovely people. In this box, there's one of the most beautiful things you will ever see. So I was waiting for this box for three months. I wonder what's in there. Let me open the box and let's have a look. Another box, yes. In another box. In another box. And another box. <laughs> so look, I <sighs> So I had to take it outside because like inside ah, my little one is enjoying herself. Anyway, this is Alpine Status Subwoofer. So first of all, thank you very much Frank from Hepa King for sending me this because he bought this for himself. He was testing it and it's like it's, it's brand new condition and he sent it to me. So it took three months to get here, but have you seen anything more beautiful and weird than this? Oh my goodness. Alpine HDZ. HDZ 110. Okay, so let's talk about this beast. Uh, why do I call it beast? So compare this, yeah? This is 18 inch. This is, they advertise the Alpine as 11 inch. I had the scale. They weigh exactly the same. And it's like, it's so weird. When you pick this up, it looks like it's tiny. But like, meh. It's so, so heavy. I don't know how many slugs they have here because look at this motor. Look, you have spider, which is there. And look at this motor, which is like, my God, just compared to 18 inch. Oh my goodness, so heavy. Just compare this. Look at this. This is like, it looks like an SPL sub. Like if you would remove this plastic cover, because this plastic cover, it's it's like one of those like sundowns and stuff where you have literally just a basket and the motor and no cone. <laughs> it looks like that. So I just measured it. this cone, like uh, cone to cone is like seven inches only. It is advertised 11. So like from the basket is 11 inch. However, you have this massive surround and it is bloody stiff. It's so stiff like the suspension. So this gathered, I'm going to try to make a slow motion video about like how, how it flexes, but oh my God. Now, uh, power ratings. This Alpine is rated only 400 watts and this one is rated a thousand watts. It's like, what the hell? So what I noticed with the status line in general, like I have the mid base, I have the mid range, all of them are... Uh, very stiff. They have very stiff suspensions, all of them. However, <clears throat> so like for the mid base, it's very very good because you have a very uh, kind of heavy-ish cone for the mid. I'm talking about the mid base, heavy cone, uh, stiff suspension, and it's perfect for producing low frequencies. Now this, I did model it this one against the 10-inch uh, data and audio that I have in there. And this comes out louder. <laughs> However, like I'm thinking now with this like structure with kind of smallish cone and with this massive motor, because like motor uh, BL wise, it has a lot of motor force. So I'm thinking ported would be very, very good for it because like you're not going to push a lot of energy to it, but it's it can absorb. I don't know why it's rated. It's only 400 because, like, it has a pole vent. So it has where to vent, but only pole vent because here is nothing. I'm just wondering about the spider. So that, that now is a 10-inch spider. This looks like 7. Yeah, it, because it's the same like with the cone. You can see it's the same. So it's a 7-inch spider. On this bloody thing so with this big of a spider do you see the coil 
how big is the coil? Man, is the coil bigger? I think the coil is bigger than one audio. Like, if you just visually compare them, I will need to look at the manual and the stuff. But this coil looks to be bigger. So, I have no idea why is it rated only 400 watts. But, probably because it has a lot of motor force and it doesn't need a lot of power. But yeah, so, what is the plan for this one? First of all, I want to hear how it sounds. I want to hear it. So, instead of making a box, because I don't want to make a box now, I'm going to put it here. So the only thing that I need is to make an adapter ring. So a 15 inch ring with 11 inch cutout. And just plop it in there. I'm going to go IB. Because I know the QTS of this one is about like 0.5, something like that. Should be. So I will be putting an IB just for testing. And I will be running it uh, on the same channels as now I'm running the front subwoofer. Which gives me like 350 watts. Uh, 300, 320, something like that. So they're going to be perfectly for testing. And Frank said, because he has the same in his car, Frank said that this sound sub sub sounds. Frank said, because he has it in his car, that this sub sounds amazing. And it should be for the price. Because this one is more expensive than this one. So the one audio in, in the UK, and I, I'm not talking about America because in America it's, this is much cheaper. In the UK, this one costs about 580 pounds. This one costs 700 pounds. Imagine that. It's like, it should be high quality. I hope it's going to be the same like the mid bass because the mid bass in the status three way is bloody amazing so short video just an unboxing and for you to see how it looks like Ooh, it looks so so cool for me this personally is the most beautiful subwoofer that i've ever seen like wow just just wow so yeah it's gonna go in ib for testing and then we're going to do some measurements and later on I will be making a box for it. Ideally, I would want, I would want to fit it in there, but I know it's not going to fit. No how. Impossible to fit it in the front console. So it needs a separate box. So I will be making a box for it. We're going to model it in WinISD and we're going to choose the best possible box. We're going to see, compare it with others like in theory in modeling and see which performs best. But yeah. Oh man. This is cool. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.